Hello, half video, all this stuff. Welcome back, my friends. Today for you, I'm gonna be tackling the potentially tricky two subject over the shoulder interview setup. I'll show you my lighting setup, how I set up the cameras, what lenses I chose, and how I started with this and ended up with this. It is going to be fun. Let's do this thing. This is what I started with and I've just got the house lights on for now. This setup has the potential to be very gear hungry. You know, you could set up so many different lights. So for this example, I really want it to be simple and affordable. So this is actually gonna be just a two light setup. I'm going to be using my two biggest and most diffused lights, which are an Aperture C300 with a big light dome and an Aperture LS Mini 20D with an umbrella. Of course you'll need two cameras for this as there's two potential angles, both of the interviewer and the interviewee. And I'll be positioning the lights on either side so that they're out of view of each of the two cameras. When it came to choosing the right lenses to use, there were a couple of things to consider. How shallow I wanted my depth of field and therefore how long a focal length and how wide an aperture did I need? The first lens I tried was Sigma's 50mm Prime and I really quite liked the look of this straight off the bat. However, I just thought it prudent to try a slightly wider and slightly longer focal length just to see how they felt. At 35mm, this was way too wide, showing way too much of the rather unattractive background. I actually preferred 70mm, but for me this is still just a tiny bit too telephoto. So, back to the 50mm. At this stage, I got thinking about trying to get the perfect amount of depth of field. Obviously our subject is going to be in focus, you would hope, <laughs> but it's the background blur versus the amount that the other subject closer to the camera is going to be outside our depth of field. In the end, I chose an aperture of about f2 because this gave me just enough depth of field to keep our subject in focus whilst throwing the background out of focus and the subject that's closer to the camera. Then it was time to turn our lights on, so let's get the house lights off and get our main key light on. And what a huge difference this has made. Don't forget, there is absolutely no grading going on whatsoever. This is just straight out the camera, so it does look a little bit flat and washed out. Next we're going to add the other light on the opposite side of our talent and this should fill in all of those shadows and should be looking really good. Boom, that's more like it. We've got some nice diffused light on either side of our main talent. But now let's take a look at the other camera which is me playing the role as the interviewer to see how the light is affecting that angle. And I'm really quite happy with the way this looks. I like the diffused light but you can see how a couple of hair lights might have helped to separate our subjects from the background. Still we've done it with just just two lights and really that was the point was to do it with not a lot of budget. Of course I always like to take a look at the grade in these videos so with this one I can just add a simple grade and obviously it's a vast improvement but I still wanted to see what I could do with using log. So I switched over and I added color wheels, color curves and a lookup table and BAM! I definitely prefer this one but let's split screen them now and definitely let me know which one you prefer. I know that it's fashionable at the moment not to like log but in any case I am interested definitely let me know so there we have it two subject interview lighting it's not too tricky we went from this to this and if you can ignore the horrible background remember this is all about theory I think this is a good look and you can apply it to your interview work and that's it for now thank you so much for hanging out with me today as always I've loved making this video for you and if you're still in the mood for more dope videos about video, I'll pop some interesting ones just here for you. And if you're not subscribed, hit the ball, hit that thing there. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.